Hey there Poetry Pals, welcome back to another video. This week I'll be reviewing Take It By The Line by Chloe Jacquet, published by Black Eyes Publishing. video I'll tell you a little bit about the book, the themes and the structure, I'll talk about the poems themselves and let you know my favourites and least favourites, then I will make my reading experience recommendations. But before we go any further please make sure you like the video, subscribe and turn on notifications. The engagement helps small creators like me get found. Also, my debut poetry collection, Faulty Manufacturing, is coming out in March and you can pre-order a copy or buy a ticket to my book launch and all of the links are in the description down below. Right, let's talk about the book. Take It By The Line is the debut poetry collection from Chloe Jacquet. Chloe Jacquet, rhymes with croquet, duvet and poetry. <laughs> is a multi-slam winning, multicultural, multifaceted spoken word artist. With a preference for straight talking and a penchant for rhymes and opinions, Chloe's poetry is both entertaining and meaningful. Her work deals with a wide variety of subjects, ranging from workplace discrimination and mental health to the pressures placed on modern men via her short-term relationship with a biscuit. A regular live performer at poetry gigs, festivals and literary events, her work has been featured several times on the radio, including the BBC. She has also been published in a variety of anthologies. She was the 2017 Oxford Hammer and Tongue Slam champion and reached the semi-finals of the National Slam finals at the Royal Albert Hall in both 2018 and 2019. I know, I was there both times. Chloe can be found on social media platforms using the handle Chloe J Poetry. I do like the fact she mentioned her short-term relationship with a biscuit because one of the poems is called Custard and it's about how drinking a coffee without a custard cream is an obscene act. And while I was reading this book in a coffee shop, not a custard cream in sight, I genuinely felt quite upset. <laughs> So Chloe sent me this book. I've seen her performing for a long time and I was excited to see her words on the page. Some of those poems have been made into videos and they are on YouTube and I have linked to the YouTube channel below. Like her bio suggests, this collection deals with a variety of subjects. I would say there are some common themes including gender and feminism, mental health and the role that poetry can play in our lives. This collection doesn't have a super strict structure. As we move through the collection, we sort of visit different topics. My favourite thing about the structure of the collection as the whole is the opening and closing poems. They are both about poetry, almost manifesto-like, and they bookend the collection nicely. The opening poem is called Poetry and it's just four lines long and it situates us, gets us ready for what we're about to read. And the final poem is called The Dealer. It is one of the ones that has been made into a video and that video has won an award. I really like The Dealer. It is a nice way to close out the collection. So let's talk a bit about the poems themselves. A lot of these poems rhyme and have a regular rhythm and a few of them throughout are what I would call slam length in that they would take just less than three minutes to perform. They have a regular rhyme scheme and a driving rhythm that makes them compelling, compelling to listen to and read out loud. Scattered throughout the collection are these shorter poems, including a couple of haikus that are just really well crafted and almost serve as a little palate cleanser between the longer poems. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my least favorite poem. My least favourite poem was called There Might Just Be a Storm and it follows two girls, girl one and girl two. Girl one stanzas are left aligned on, on the page and girl two stanzas are right aligned. They are both the same age but one gets radicalised online and carries out a terrorist attack during which the first girl's boyfriend is killed. 
To be honest, I actually really like the idea of this, especially with the use of alignment and form reflecting the content, especially, you know, and that reflecting the parallel lives. But for me, it lacked the nuance and detail that a subject like this needed. And I feel like the rhyme scheme got in the way of the meaning here. What am I trying to say? I think actually having a rhyme scheme is generally a good thing if you can make it work for your purpose. But at moments during this poem, the, it felt like we were going for the rhyme before we were going for the most compelling meaning. And I feel like it needed some more sort of like concrete images for us to hang on. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I feel. My favourite poem in this collection is actually one of my favourite Chloe poems that I've had for a while. It is called Body Con and it is a gorgeously rhyming love letter to her body as she introduces it to the reader or the audience. It is cheeky and fun and as I read it I picture her on stage with a cocked eyebrow and like one hand on her hip while she caresses her bum at us and I love it. Bodycon has also been made into a video, so I will link that in the description so you can enjoy it too. Special mentions go to My Friend, which is a fun little poem about female friendships, and Hospital and Transfusion. These are two poems about, it's either her mum or her sister, I couldn't quite work it out, but a female relative ha having cancer. These poems carry extra weight with the knowledge that Chloe herself has just finished treatment for cancer. So let's move on to my reading experience recommendations. This collection is one of those that needs to be read out loud to fully appreciate the rhyme and rhythm. So don't do what I did and read this in a public space like a coffee shop. I was whispering under my breath and I must have sounded insane. In terms of a drink and a snack, it's gotta be a coffee and a custard cream. If you liked this book, you might also enjoy Brian Bilston, Melanie Branton, and Johnny Fluffy Punk. I've linked to their collections in the description as well. To sum up, this collection is in turns playful and serious. Its driving rhythm and rhyme needs to be read aloud, and I'm looking forward to reading the poems alongside the videos that Chloe has made. So here are my questions for you. Have you read this book? Let me know what you thought. If you haven't read this book, do you reckon you will based on my review? If you have a book that you would like me to review, please let me know in the comments or DM me. And please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. It really helps small creators like me get found. My debut collection, Faulty Manufacturing, is out in March 2023 and is available for pre-order. You can also buy tickets for online or in person for my launch party and the links are in the description down below. You can also support me by following me on social media. I am at Josie Alford Poet on all the things. And you can support the channel with your wallets by buying me a coffee or joining me on Patreon. The links to do both are in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all next week. Bye.